Bye. Give me just a minute, guys. I'm just going to share this in a couple of places. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm trying to be quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Guys, when you drop on, make sure you leave me a comment so I know you're here. Good morning, Kelly. I know it's very early. I wouldn't normally do lives this early in the morning. Hi, Paul. Hi, Leanne. Um, I'm gonna do a tutorial of the staple face that I did the other day. I got a lot of uh, feedback on that look and everybody's asking for it, so I figured that I would do, um, do the right thing and, <laughs> and do a tutorial of it. So, um, if you're watching, hi Leon, if you're watching this after it's live, um, comment hashtag replay so that I know you watched it, watched it. And if you could guys just share my video, um, that helps me, that helps my business. Um, plus I'm quite silly. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, the look that we're, the look for today is going to be all unique products. Um, not very many of them at that. I, uh. Thanks, honey, for sharing my video. Um, I uh, don't remember what I was saying. Oh, it doesn't take a lot to, to make this happen. Um, it Literally, it's going to be the brow palette in the shade Blonde. And it looks so horrible. I use this. This is my favorite palette out of everything. I use this for everything. So the brow palette um, in the shade Blonde. Uh, my concealer, which is one shade lighter than my foundation. Um, pencil eyeliners in black, lip liner in the color posh, I believe. Yeah, posh. And then um, I can't find my white unique eyeliner. So, hi, Lily. So, I'm just using this one that I picked up at the drugstore. And then um, lipstick of your choice. This is um, Superb Splash. It's a very bright, very pretty color. And Epic Mascara. And then... These brushes, just some smudgy pencil brushes. This is an artist brush. I'm going to use this. You'll see this later on. And then your pencil sharpener. You will need a pencil sharpener for this one. And I have a lighter to help me with um, the liners. So that's it. That's everything, I think. There may be some that I'm forgetting. So uh, this look was not of my, my own creation. I was challenged to do this look um, by a friend. And I'm going to show you the original picture. Um, mine is not exactly the same. Uh, I, I did change it a little bit. This was the original picture that I was challenged to do. And then you guys have seen mine, which is this one. Um, I, I altered hers a little bit. She used a lot more black than I, than I liked. Um, when you're picking colors and things for this, the reason why the brow palette works so well is because it's natural colors, colors that look good on your skin. Um, I have already laid down my foundation. I've used primer, foundation, and I did my eyebrows just because it's easier for me and it's going to cut a little bit of time off the video if I can stop yakking my jaws. So let's get started. Um, if, if you can't do the one eyebrow up, people's eyebrow thing, you're going to want to block out an eyebrow and draw it higher. Um, you can do that with Elmer's glue. Um, make sure it's washable Elmer's glue like the stick. Um, I like to use the purple one because I can kind of see when it dries. 
but you just want to, hi Linda, you just want to put the glue over your eyebrow, let it dry, take some water on your fingertip and smooth it out, and then you're going to take concealer over that, and then foundation over that, and then set it with powder. Um, when you put your foundation on, you do want to make sure that you set with powder for this look, because you're putting shadows on your skin. If you just have foundation, it's just going to kind of cling to it, and it's going to be hard to blend. So set it with a powder. It can be a translucent powder, a banana powder. It doesn't matter. You could probably get by with using baby powder if you didn't have anything else. Um, but set it with a powder so that I'm ready for this. Um, you, what you want to do is you want to start with your lighter colors and build into your darker colors. So this is my eyebrow that I'm going to have pulled up. So I want to, I want to kind of have my um, staple here. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to go in with the lightest color in your palette, and you want to take like a pencil brush. This is a smudger brush, I believe. Oh, nope, it's a concealer brush from e.l.f. Um, anyway, you're going to take a little bit of that, and you just want to make a V. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. But you want to leave a little bit of space between the two. Guys, when you hop on, make sure you say hi or drop an emoji or something. And just kind of let me know you're here. Um, you want your color to be concentrated to the corner and then kind of just blend out to the ends. And just so you guys know, I don't have a mirror. I am simply doing this in my phone, so if, like, the view gets all kind of wacky, that's why. All right, and then I'm gonna take and just kind of drag this color and blend it out some. Basically, you're making an optical illusion. It's gonna look like something that it's not. And, um, and just like when you're putting on eyeshadow, blend, blend, blend. Okay, and so the next one that I want, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Alright, so I'm going to do the one where my eyes pulled down here. When I originally did it, I did it about here, but I'm going to pull it up a little bit so that I can kind of make that eye look more realistic. Hi, Malika! Yeah, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um... I've made a lot of new friends since I posted this, <laughs> uh, since I posted the initial picture of this. So um, if you're new, uh, tell me where you're from. Um, but I'm going to move this staple up a little bit just so it looks a little bit better. Um, so again, I'm going to go back into that light color with the pencil brush. And same thing on the other side. Oh, hi, Michelle. I know where you're from. <laughs> but yeah, I got such rave reviews on this look. I kind of felt like I owed it to everybody to kind of show you how it was done.
And see how those aren't lined up? It's not really going to matter. Oh, Lulu's, Lula, Lula's great. She, uh, she's just a big lazy bag of, bag of taters. She, Lula is my dog, guys. <laughs> we have Lula and Bella. Bella is a pit mix, and Lula is a mastiff mix. Okay. So there's that one, and that one's going to make that eye look like it's pulled down. And then we've got to do the lip over here. And with the lip one, because it's pulling this way instead of up and down like the other ones, you're going to turn these to where they're on top of each other. It's going to look like an hourglass. So you guys can already kind of see it taking shape. Um, when I originally did this, I was having a hard time because I hadn't done anything like this with like, sort of like a special effects type deal. Um, I mean, I've done old age makeup, but nothing with like skin wrinkles. So that part was kind of difficult and I kept getting lost in what I was doing. But it's a little bit easier this time. So now I'm gonna take the darker color or the darkest color right here. And we're going to concentrate this on the on the lines, okay? But you are going to blend it in some, but mainly mainly you want it on the lines. So I'm going to take um, another pencil brush and just going to kind of get that on there. You could probably do this with a liner brush too. Make sure you guys can see. And then we're going to go in and blend all that in just a second. Hi, Sadie. So you can take a blending brush. I'm taking a smudger brush. Oh, Stephanie's all the way from Colorado. My sister used to live in Colorado. And we're just going to pull that into the center some. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the darker color to the to the corners here. And it doesn't have to be precise. Um 
they're pretty right now. It all kind of just adds up in the end. Hi, Erin. Okay. So now, okay, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to go ahead and add um, my staples. You want to make sure that your black is super sharp. Guys, if you could share my video, that would mean the world to me. All right, so for the staples, with this one, we're gonna use my mirror because that's not gonna work out if I don't. So with this one, you're gonna make a C. And then you're going to turn it into like, I don't know, I'm not stable enough. Let me see if I can move you guys down some. Okay. And you want to make a half moon shape. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm so sorry. Okay. And you want to concentrate the black to the outside edges where it would go into your skin. And you're going to put a highlight in the middle with, with your white. So you just kind of want to darken up the, the ends. And then take any kind of smudgy brush or a, a angled eyeliner brush will work great. And just kind of pull that to lighten it up some. There you go. You can kind of see now. Hi, Jordan. See? I might not even add white to that one. I don't think that one looks good. I will add a little bit. So I'm going to take the white and just add a little highlight. To just kind of give it a little bit more dimension. There we go. So there's one down. Hi, Lindsay. And we're going to do the same thing here. It's going to be a circle one like this one. This is going to be the one that looks different. So let me sharpen my brush, I mean my pencil again. And again, you want to can't you want to um, make sure it's really black on the ends, and then I'm just using an angled eyeliner brush to kind of drag that up and blend that out some. And then, hi Suzette. And then take the white and put a little bit of a highlight in there. Okay. <clears throat> now we've got this guy. I'm going to go ahead. No. Okay. So with this one, you just kind of want it to be straight. 
because you're looking at it f directly from it. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do now, I don't, let's finish doing the wrinkles first. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna do a wrinkle on the insides. And I'm gonna start with the light color. So what are you guys doing this morning? I didn't figure I'd have this many people on. Wow, there's 39 people on, I just looked, hi! If you're here, say hi in the comments below. Let me know where you're from. So we're just making extra, extra lines. Oh, I'm just so sorry guys, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so I'm taking the lightest color in the brow palette and just adding some wrinkles to the outsides here. And this is going to make it look like the skin is kind of pulled up. <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of blend that out a little bit. Not a lot though, just a little bit. And then we're going to take the darker color and just go over that. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Trisha. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Hi, Catherine. Wow, thank you guys for coming on. I really didn't figure I'd have a lot of people on because it's so early. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do one up here because my eye's gonna take up that space. And I'm gonna do one here. Okay, so now you want to take your black eyeliner and you're just going to, you're going to line your corners and then you're going to take some, a brush and blend it in. You want it to be very light. You don't want to see that there's actual black lines there. You just, I'll show you, just hold them. Okay, and then I'm going to take a brush and blend that in.
Oh, I know which one I'm forgetting. Hold that thought. From our um, individual pressed powders, legendary. In the shade, in the shade legendary, it's black. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't get this to work out like I wanted it to, that's why. So I'm gonna take that on an eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna <clears throat> Blend that in. And you want to concentrate it on the inside bit, the corners. See how much better that looks? Okay. And I'm just going to do that everywhere after I poke myself in the eye. Hi, Scotty. Oh, hi, Scotty. I haven't seen you in forever. Miss you guys. Ashley. And then Michaela, hi. We're just adding some dimension. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. And then go back in with the black. Very lightly. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do my lip next. And I'm using, um, Splash Liquid Lipstick in the color Superb, which is my favorite. And with this look, don't worry about getting your lips exactly, exactly like you normally would. Um, you want this side to be normal and then we're going to stretch this side. So. I'm having such a hard time seeing. The sun is so bright right now.
Okay. So you want to pull it. See, it's not hard. Okay, so there's that, and then you're going to take your black pencil liner, I may have to let that dry a little bit. And we're going to bring that over in a minute, but I'm going to let that dry. Okay. So, for the eyeball part, what I did <laughs> was I, I literally, like, pulled my eyelid down for a minute so I could kind of see where my eyeball was. I'm not, <laughs> not going to put you guys through that because I love you. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white eyeliner... I keep putting my mirror down. Sorry, guys. I'm going to take my white eyeliner and I'm just going to kind of First of all, this eyeliner is not the greatest. This is not a unique eyeliner. I couldn't find mine. So I just grabbed this one from the store. But I'm going to take Heat that up just a little bit. Okay. So. You just kind of want to go where your eye is. Um. Because you're, you're wanting this to look as real as possible. And you want to taper it. You don't want to do the whole thing. You want to taper it up to the front just like as if you were... Because when you pull on your eye, because you're pulling from right here, it's going to have that V shape to it. It's not going to be your whole eye. So just keep that in mind. And then I'm going to I'm going to line my waterline there. Just where the new fake eyeball extension is. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Okay. So then you're going to take your black eyeliner and you're going to start at the corner of your eye. It's got lipstick on it. <laughs> Improper planning, sorry. <laughs> so you want to start at the corner of your eye. Hi, Haley! Okay. 
and you guys can make this line kind of thick. Like so. I thought you were at school, Haley. Okay. And then you're gonna take your um, posh lip liner. Oh, I gotta empty my sharpener, guys. <clears throat> Oh, you just got out. And you're going to line between. Only go for 50 minutes on Mondays and Fridays. My goodness. You want to um, fill in between the eyeball and the eyelid that you drew in. And if it kind of blends with the black here around the edges, that's okay. Because that's going to give you a little bit more dimension anyway. But then right here in the center, I'm just going to wipe some on my hand. Right here in the center, I want it to be as much pink as it can be. And I'm even going to take a little bit of white. And go right in the center there and just kind of blend that in. Okay. Now, to make this look like it's your actual eyelid and not just a line, what I did was I took some concealer and go ahead and put a little bit on your hand because we're fixing to use it to clean up the lines. Um, Oh, no, this is an artist brush. This is not even a makeup brush, but an artist brush, but it's got a really fine tip. And I'm just going to draw a really small line in the center of the uh, black line. And then what I did to make it look like eyelashes is I just took my uh, angled eyeliner brush and just drug it out just a little bit and that's going to make that a little hazy. And kind of give the illusion of eyelashes. Okay. What was I going to do now? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, oh. Okay, so with that same little artist brush, I'm taking some of my concealer, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right between this line and, and your uh, angles that you made. And that's gonna put a little bit of a highlight and make the wrinkle look a little more real.
to take and swoop this down right here and you want to make it kind of like a U shape. Because that's going to give it the illusion that it's hitting that, your cheekbone right there. And just kind of blend out the edges. And you could use an actual highlighter for this, but I didn't want anything shimmery. And most highlighters are shimmery, so. I'm just gonna make that a little bit lighter right there. And now my nose decides to kind of start running. And I'm just going to, whatever's left on this brush, I'm just going to kind of smudge in here. And here. There's not a lot left on the brush at this point. But this is just going to give it a little bit of extra dimension. Let me finish with the black here. Alright, and then you want to finish off with some mascara. Remember, don't put mascara on the bottom lid here because it's going to ruin your illusion. I'm using our Epic Mascara because it's one and done. And for this look, you could very well do like a high glam eyeshadow look, but I didn't want to take away from everything else on my face. So finished look, and you can finish this with setting spray, but finished look, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> How's that look guys? I don't know. So there's that, that's all there is to it, just the um, eyeshadow, pa I mean the brow palette and some lipstick and some eyeliners, and you've got a spooky dooky Halloween look. So, anyway, thanks you guys for tuning in. Um, if you would please share my video, I appreciate it so very much. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Bye!